Now, for this particular design, it's an all strap sandal design. The first thing you are going to be doing is you have to take measurements of your strap. Knowing fully well, if you look at the picture, you find out that the strap went in between the big tool and the small one. It, it went in between, then it came this way. It has another strap that this particular strap is suspended into. So it go this way. It will then go also this way. It's going to go around the ankle. It's more of an ankle strappy sander. So it went that way and came this way. There's another strap here suspending it. Don't forget. So this is how you take the measurements. I mean the length of your strap. Don't forget that the last one now came here this is 19 inches this is 19 inches so that is the first measurement we need to take now considering the fact that this is a last it's possible that this round this side this ankle side might not as might not be as wide as this for the person you are creating it for but on the average it will help you to be able to regularize the length that you need for your strappy strap or your ankle strap you know sander so this is 19 so it means that this is the strap that will be entering into the buckle at this particular point so we are going to just go ahead and measure a strap that has the length of 19 or 20 as the case may be so let's say 20 if it's still if it's too long we can decide to reduce it now if you look at this you will see that i have about one and a half inch at the back ensure you have about one and a half inch at the back and then it goes this way now you don't forget you can use your leg to do this it does not necessarily mean it has to be a last you can use your leg to do this just place it the same way i place it let it let it go towards this outer part of your foot and let it go around this way and then come back to this particular side don't forget that if you look at the design for this particular side the strap is here and for this one the strap is around here so the strap are not positioned at the same point for this particular sander so we are going to go ahead and measure a, a strap with a length of 20 centimeter 20 inches sorry now you will be wondering what am i going to use as the width now if you look at the picture what i always encourage you to do is look at the picture and try to look at what what width look as in look at the measurement on your tape rule that looks like what you have like now if you look at that picture you find out that it's about it's 0 0.5 is about it's 0 0.5 is 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 it's not as wide as a um, one inch you can see how wide one inch is it's not as wide as one inch and if you use zero point um, um five inch for example you may not it may be too tiny it may be too tiny and one of the reasons why i try to avoid using this calibration inches is because now this one here if you look at this if you look at this particular one you see one the next one is not 1.1 it is 1.125 so it's not always easy to read in between the lines when it comes to inches that's why i most times don't use inches for my width when i when i measure length i try to use these inches but when i'm measuring my width i try to use centimeter because it is easier with with this particular one so for me i think 1.5 centimeter will be enough for that width that we are working it well, you can see that the strap is even is almost like the width of my of my tape roll of my measure of my measuring tape so what you need to do you can just put it on it to see the measurements you can see the measurement of this is not even up to 1.5. It's not even up to 1.5. So you can actually you make use of this. This is about 1.2 centimeter. If I'm very correct. It's about 1.2. Don't forget that from this side, from this calibration here to this one here, that is one. Then one, two, two. That is about 1.2 centimeter so i think this is perfectly okay you can use 1.2 centimeter you can use 1.5 centimeter as the case may be for your width so let's go ahead and measure our width 
and cut it out. Now, I'm going to be using this my carton to create, to cut out my strap. Now, since I said I'm going to be using 1.5 centimeter, so it's either we use 1.5 or 1.2 centimeter. So I, I would suggest that we use about 1.2 centimeter. So measure your 1.2 centimeter. This is my 1.2. Now, if you look at the length that we, we, we measured, that was in inches. Please don't forget. We have to pay attention to all of that. So, this is um, the length. This length is um, about 19. We said we were going to stop at 20. So, now this is 20. So, this is where 20 stops. This is 20. This is 20. This is 20. So since we have our 20 here, can I still see where it is? I think this is our 20. We will now go ahead and measure our 1.2 centimeter in between all of this and then begin to join it together. Now, please, if you look at what I'm doing, I'm making use of in between because I cannot ascertain. Normally, this is not the type of measuring tape that we use. Our own, as as in shoemaking, when we are into shoemaking, our hole doesn't have this kind of um, iron. But this is what is readily available around me, so that's what I use. So this particular iron here is not is not allowing me to per perfectly locate my one point two. That's why I move to. I move to 2, so I will go and stop at 3.2. I hope we get me. You know this is 2, so I'm going to stop at 3.2 since I need 1.2 centimeter. So please let me know if you don't get what I'm trying to do. I mean my method of um, doing this. So I'm just going to try to join it together using my meter rule. All those places that I've, I've marked. Let me do. Let me make some more. So let's see this I'm starting from here and it's coming here so this is 1.2 you can make yours 1.4 please it's not compulsory that it should be 1.2 and don't forget that this one this isn't we are using 2.3 2, 2 3.2 yes so let's check our length again is about 20 okay this is 20 we are still very correct now let's also measure i'm just taking my time so that you would know how to go about all of this i may not have to go through this again in our order and our other courses since we have covered that hope in this particular one So I'm just going to cut that strap out for us to see. Now you can see this is what the full length looks like. Now let's quickly go to the straps at the side. We're going to be making use of about 4.5 inch length. I mean 4.5 inch length at that point. 4.5 inch length. Now all you need to do is place it this way. The height that you are going to be using for this side depends on how high you want it to be on the ankle but averagely i'm going to suggest between 1.5 to 2 centimeter one inches rather 1.5 to 2 inches i mean the height of this particular side should not be more than 1.5 either 1.5 like this or two inches so that it will not be too high or too low for whoever is wearing it so it depends on the size and the style you are working with but within two and then 1.5 inch it means you can use 1.75 it means you can use exactly 1.5 it means you can use two so you can use within that range but for this particular design i'm going to suggest that we use about 1.75 or two depending on the size we are working with so i'm going to go ahead and you'll be wondering okay if we are using 1.75 why are you measuring 4.5 now you have to understand that at this point we are going to be 
we are going to be folding about 1.75 in don't forget because this is the way it looks like we are going to fold about 1.75 in our strap is going to pass through this opening a can you see it is going to pass through this opening and we need it to move freely now it's not compulsory that it should be as much as 0 point, I mean 1.75 inch it can be lesser which means since our strap is not too wide it doesn't have to be that much so i can push it up a little bit but don't forget that you are going to place a rivet here and your rivet should not affect the weight you are leaving behind so with this we have about 1.25 so we have about 1.25 here as the fold so it means now we have 1.25 don't forget that we are, we are going to be using 1.75 so what you are going to do it means when you are doing this you have to learn to calculate as well now you have 1.25 for your food you have 1.75 for this the one that will be standing right up here i'm trying to explain how to calculate for us so because if you have 1.5 i mean 1.25 here fold like this here this is one from here to here is 1.25 now the one that will be standing here the one that will be standing up here is going to be 1.75 which is what i just wrote here 1.75 now you must leave about an extra one inch under to cover up because of course it will enter into the insole it's either it enters into the insole or pass by the side of the insole so it def you definitely need about one inch you can see that now so with that calculation let us see what our total length i mean the full length of the side strap will be so this is our fold i want us to see this is our fold this is the one that will be standing upright outside and the last one is going to be the s's that we are going to be using to last it so five plus five is going to give us 10 which means we are going to write zero we have one bring over our one here it becomes three three 3 plus um, 7 becomes 10. We are still going to have 0 again because we cannot write 10 there. So we are bringing our 1 extra 1 to this one. We had to to this one. It becomes it becomes 2. 2 plus 1, that is 3. Plus 1, that is 4. So we need 4 inch length for that side. I hope you get me now. I want us to understand that this particular fold vary with the strap you are inserting into it. Let's assume our, our strap is wider. I mean if the strap we are using is wider than this, it definitely means we might have to increase we might have to increase the width of our fold much more than this that is what it means so make sure that each time you want to work with sides like this go ahead with this calculation bear it in mind that the excess that will be under under the insole is one inch bear it in mind whatever length you want to use here i told us the length should be between 1.5 to 2.0 so inches please inches don't forget inches so with this you will be able to work with any side any pattern any design that has a side strap that is standing that way so that is majorly that so i'm going to just go ahead don't forget that the strap will also carry that you have the same width as this you can decide to increase this to 1.5 i mean the one at the width but looking at the design we have it has the same width with the strap so you can we can decide to use our own strap so that to be able to sustain that side we can decide to use 1.5 centimeter and not 1.2 centimeter like we use when we were we were cutting this particular width so it means it's either we use the same width or we use 1.5 just because so that to be able to sustain this particular side please let me know if you get every of my explanation i really need to know follow those steps and you will get a perfect result now as you can see i'm already through with the cutting of the patterns now it's very important for you to actually work with it this way now these two are the straps for just one particular leg don't forget we have one here there is one here we have one on this side with the folded part i'll still go to that just know that there's one here there is another one on this particular side so we are going to be having three just three of the straps on this leg so it means we are going to be cutting out six straps this will be four why this will be two 
that is all we need for this particular design now what you need to do now is to go ahead and place this on your leather pattern and cut it out cut it this straight cut it cut this as well you miss you are cutting two of this you just need one of this and you are cutting four of this so that two will be on each of the legs and one of this will be on each of the leg so that is all about creating this particular pattern